let me just say that the first two years of my uni education were not so good. I ended up dropping actually while I was going to my third year so that I dropped in my second year. And I would not encourage anybody to drop out. I'm actually a big advocate for education. But for me, things actually didn't go well. That's why I ended up dropping out and I'm going to be telling you why. <laughs> So let me begin from when I was in high school. So in high school, I believe I was an outspoken person, a bubbly girl. Like, I didn't have problem with talking to people. I was actually very expressive. So fast forwarding to after high school, I was actually in Nibs College pursuing computer packages. And during that time is when the application process had begun. So there was a lecturer there who actually helped me um, apply to the university that I wanted. So you know the way in Kenya, they usually write like the short form of the university and then they write the requirements. And then down here is when they write like the full name of the university. So me, I didn't know that. You know, in high school, I really wanted to do journalism. Like that was what I had my mindset to doing. So I wanted to do journalism and I wanted to do it in a renowned university. So I believed, like the lecturer there told me that Riara University was a good university to pursue journalism. So while applying, I saw there a RU. In my mind, I thought that was Riara University because it's just so simple. So I just applied. I didn't even go down there to look at the full name of the university and I was done. So I waited until the admission letter came through. When I received it, I almost fell down because the university that I had in mind wasn't the one that was written there. Actually, it was Rongo University. I had never heard of it. I had never been to that, like to Nyanza province or Migori County, those sides. So I was really shook to my core. Like, I didn't believe it. I actually thought that they had exchanged the admission letters. And that was the first place I messed up. I told my mom. She accepted the fate. I also accepted the fate. And I said I would go to Rongo University because universities are the same, actually. So that is what I actually told myself. So the first day that we went to Rongo University was during the admission day. And actually they had changed the date. And me and my mom didn't know because we didn't read the email. So we went and there was a lady there who told us that instead of going home, you just pay for the fees, pay for the hostels. And then when you just come on the official reporting date, you're just going to come and settle. So that is what me and my mom did. We went, paid for fees, paid for the hostels, and we were done. So on the official reporting date, we went, me, my mom, and my aunt, and I actually knew that everything that was tiresome, we had already done. So that day, we were just going to report officially. So me and my mom went to the university hostels, and... We were shook. We didn't believe it because that lady was like, ah, the rooms have already been given out. You didn't pay. And I was like, oh my God, we paid it. You are the one. Actually, that same lady was the one who told us that we could pay that other day. So that was another thing that really messed me up about that day. We had to get refunded the money. And uh, so we went, looked for another hostel and... That's where I found my roommate. We had never met before. We had never even communicated before. That day we met at the gate hostels and we decided to stay together, which was kind of weird and a very bad idea. So after all that, my mom and my aunt left for home and I was left in school to pursue my education. When I started my journalism classes, I actually ended up going to the wrong classes for a whole week. And that is actually what accelerated the process of me to transferring to education. Because I remember, instead of going for journalism classes, I was going for computer science classes. And I remember they were learning about something about libraries and computers. And God knows how I hate in details about computers. Like, <laughs> that I knew wasn't going to be my cup of tea. So there, there was this lecture. Uh, no, it was a student. 
he was like uh, ukifanya journalism rongo university hutapata kazi and i didn't want something that i would struggle looking for a job after i was done and i remember that on that same day i went did intra transfer and chose a course that i had in mind because when he told me that i was like i don't know what i want to do with my life because everything that i had planned for so i went did inter school transfer and i went did education and actually when i was going back to take like those documents from my journalism faculty i mean there, there was a lady there who was like ah unataka kukimbizana na walimu wa strike ja kukosa clip now i was like ah bana me i want to do education because this is what i have just decided i didn't even sit down and talk to myself because on that same day is when i went and did the transfer so i went and did education so i remember during my first semester i was so anxious like my anxiety levels were so high i didn't make friends because obviously my resting bitch face didn't actually allow it people were actually afraid to approach me my classmates and you know the way you usually go to like a rural school and you find everyone talking in their own tribe that is actually how it was and it it was so hard for me to make friends during that period so in the middle of the semester i stopped totally going to classes cuz i remember that there wasn't anything that i was doing during that time and actually going to school was like the inside the school premises was so difficult for me i actually felt off i felt like i didn't belong during that first semester all i would do is sleep eat sleep eat go to like somewhere come back sleep and that was like my whole routine for the first semester and it actually proceeded to the second semester the second year first semester and the second year second semester so during the second year second semester that is when i actually fell sick with pneumonia and my mom and my brother came to school to see me like to take care of me and that is when my mom knew that i wasn't going to classes because i hadn't told anybody at home actually when it came to school life they actually knew i was actually going to classes and doing my exams i had actually not done my first year second semester exam and the whole of second year i hadn't done my exams so actually and i was actually paying school fees in my mind i was like why am i actually paying for all this money and i'm not going to classes but i was so afraid to tell my mom because i didn't know how she would react you know the way people are expecting so much from you and then you disappoint them so i didn't want that to happen so my mom knew i was going to classes but on that day she actually went to school inquired about my school life like if i had been going to classes and after my mom found out that i had not been going to classes it actually became a topic for discussion and she was like interrogating me and asking me why i didn't I, i wasn't going to classes and they ended up explaining everything like i told her that i didn't want the course actually i i didn't want that course being in an education class was really suffocating me i was doing uh, education and cre with special needs and it was actually suffocating me because i remember there's a day i went for one class like i told myself maybe if i start going to classes i'll start enjoying them so i went for special needs class and i remember i didn't like my heart felt out of place i knew this was wasn't my cup of tea and i ended up going i didn't even wait for the class to end i went back to my room so i was lucky enough to have a parent who understood me and didn't want me to like die before i was 40 years because of depression and all that stress that is where i became lucky like my mom is somebody who understands and that's how i ended up changing my course because like i won't allow myself to get straight away from my dream for the second time on my life update as of now i'm still doing journalism and i'm actually happy that i started the classes i'm so thrilled i usually anticipate to start classes even though i complain about all that like the tear some work i'm actually happy that i'm going to journalism classes and i don't know why i changed that before but like this is the experience that i had in my mind when i was thinking about university i'm so happy right now that i'm doing what i love i love my friends i've made friends while i well i'm in journalism cuz i attend classes often and i have like healed the wounds from before a little bit of advice for anyone who's thinking about dropping out of school 
well if your courses aren't suiting you like you're not enjoying your courses and you just know that that is not something that you see yourself finishing do it now instead of waiting actually for me i waited because i was so scared about telling my mom i thought that she wouldn't understand looking back i wish i told her a bit earlier so that we could save on those coins but if you're thinking about dropping and you have something that you're passionate about and you see it's being a long-term thing don't get depressed by yourself tell somebody actually communicate because something with me i'm not really a very expressive person i've come to know that about myself in my adult years and uh, it's something that i have been dealing with like i have started like expressing myself more i've made friends through that i am actually relieved not relieved like there's some good that came out of me being sick with pneumonia because if it wasn't for that i would still be struggling till to date because i wouldn't have told my mom but if you've reached this part of this video thank you so much and comment down below with a suggestion of the video that you'd like me to do next and also hit the bell in order to get notified each and every other time i upload a new video share this video to your friends and let's meet next time for not such a very serious and weird video <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah,